Uh, next up, we have Trip Creator. Trip Creator is a travel management system that gives you complete control Wait, over your work, whether it's the itinerary, customer pricing, or the booking process. Please join me in welcoming Ausker Fannar Auskerson, the CEO of Trip Creator, that is also the second partner of Travel Tech today, along with Godu. Great. All right. Uh, my errand today is about empowering employees with tech solutions built to maximize customer satisfaction, or in other words, the day-to-day -day activities of those who create itineraries. Uh, I'll start by introducing myself a little bit and the company, since we haven't been in ITT before. And then I will go into the platform itself. I will speak more towards the topic, uh, speak about one testimonial, and then I will speak about what we are currently developing. So myself, uh, my background is 11 years in a destination management company, eight years hands-on development of our then in-house itinerary builders, uh, two years in a day tour company operating day tours from Reykjavik, and then four years now in uh, Trip Creator. The company was founded in 2013 by Hilmar Halldorsson, some of you probably know him. Uh, we began as a B2C platform, but pivoted to the B2B market, and we were market ready mid-year 2019. At the time, we had two customers, but now over 200 in more than 50 uh, countries. And the customers that we serve are uh, in all segments of the travel industry, most of them abroad. Uh, and the platform is currently well developed for DMCs, but we are now adding functionality for tour operators and online uh, travel agencies, basically those who want to sell itineraries online uh, through widgets. So the platform uh, has developed into becoming an all-in-one travel management solution. It's of course built around uh, our powerful itinerary builder. Uh, it's al also allowing companies to do more activities within the same platform, including giving accurate proposals. We have a booking engine, a minified CRM, the invoicing module, operation module, and it's also possible to collaborate with your agents through our system in a specific B2B2C module, and then we are uh, headed into automation and integration possibilities, which I will uh, speak a little bit uh, more about later. Uh, all the itineraries that are created in our platform are available in the end customer mobile app. Uh, it uh, has navigation possibilities and the itineraries are available offline, including the attachments, so that if, that if your customers are in a restaurant, as an example, without internet, they still have uh, their voucher. So the challenge for travel companies, uh, which has thankfully changed a little bit in the recent years, is that it's very difficult to scale. When I'm saying without specialized technology, I'm talking about those who are doing things in separate programs, such as Word and Excel. Uh, and the way to counter uh, the scalability and being able to grow successfully is to use specialized platforms. I think uh, most of us have realized already. Uh, and that way, uh, the travel companies can increase their productivity, sales, and efficiency, and give better customer service. They, of course, have much more time in a similar way as Travia was explaining earlier, to do sales and so forth. And um, the companies get, in return, better customer engagement, which then speeds up the process. And, of course, more automation. So without specialized technology, uh, it takes time to create the proposals, uh, even more time when the customer has special requests. Uh, the process is very repetitive and error prone, and ten the tendency is that your best customer grows out of this position, so you have a little bit of a turnover to keep the, uh, let's say, to keep good people uh, creating the quotations. It requires heavy onboarding. There are a lot of holes to fall into, and uh, it requires a lot of know-how to become good at it. And it's a te tedious process and, and anything but uplifting. So a giving proposal should be effortless, quick, and effective. It should be with as little repetition as possible. It should be segment appropriate, meaning that if you're sending a mice quotation, it should be for mice. If it's for luxury, it should be that type of uh, quotation, and it should be engaging and rich. 
uh, and have a high chance of conversion and of course match the expectations of the customer. And what does this for those involved? It means happier employees and happier customers and therefore more profit. Uh, casual Travel has been a customer with us for four years. They have uh, gone lengths to uh, implement Trip Creator into their business. And over the course of time, they have been able to increase their productivity by 60%. They have 30% more conversions and they are 14 times faster in creating their itineraries. And this both makes uh, the customer happy and of course the employees as well. Uh, they are able now to create itineraries faster. They are using existing itineraries and of course uh, products from their inventory and, and modules. They are able to do more in the same time, which is quite powerful and different from other uh, platforms. They can now, when they create the itinerary, they are also creating the proposal at the same time. And in case the customer confirms the quotation, they can easily issue invoices and uh, operate the itineraries from Trip Creator, meaning they can send out supplier reservations uh, from our system. So I want to speak and, and put a little bit of weight into last part of, of uh, this introduction. I want you to look into the future with me, basically the things that we are currently developing, uh, which is very good for the Icelandic market and is uh, built on the fact that the Icelandic travel industry has adopted technology in the recent years. Uh, most companies are using some sort of reservation systems or marketplaces and most of them are integratable. And this basically makes it possible for Trip Creator to aggregate these products, to have your inventory from these third-party systems within the Trip Creator inventory. And when you create itineraries, you can drag products from uh, these third-party systems directly into your itineraries. And the pricing and availability is based on the information from a third-party system. So if you have loads of suppliers contracted, uh, the prices that you have negotiated, they are actually available for the itinerary creation. And these itineraries can be dynamic, meaning that when your customer has actually purchased the itinerary, we can push the reser reservation data into the integrated systems. Uh, so what does it make uh, possible for your companies? You can start creating off-the-shelf packages and place them on your websites in a similar way as you have been familiar with uh, through widgets in Boken and, and so forth. The difference is that uh, through Trip Creator you can do this for entire itineraries. Uh, you can also act, enter segments that have not been feasible to your business to that point, meaning that let's say a lot of companies, they know that there's high demand for self-drives, but they can't uh, allow themselves to use their employees to uh, handle these requests, but with a system like Trip Creator and also with the integrations, this becomes very easy and almost automatic. So, uh, and also um, some of these segments have been known to have low contribution margins and it's very difficult for, um, let's say, Iceland companies with high, high cost to compete in those markets, but you can with uh, our system. And of course, it reduces manual work since the reservations are pushed automatically. So dynamic itineraries, they are better thought as itinerary skeletons rather than fixed itineraries. And this basically means that the meet, the, the input from the end customer through your website this defines the start date, the number of uh, adults and, and rooms and so forth. And this is fed into the integrated systems and the itinerary that your customers are seeing, they are basically tailored uh, for the specific request. So when you're planning the itinerary, you are putting up the rough, rough uh, uh, let's say, setup of the itinerary, which is then materialized later on. Um, and these are, of course, based on live availability and prices. So for the end customer, this also gives them a little bit of power uh, to customize the itinerary to their budget and liking. Uh, and this also removes uh, the friction between uh, the uh, travel professional and the customer. 
a lot of the things that, uh, let's say, a self-drive can, strictly speaking, just be handled through the website without any human interaction, if you would want to go that way. Uh, but adding pre- or post-nights to the itineraries that you have already created is possible. Uh, changing their, uh, their accommodation, uh, the rental car, they can upgrade it if they want to. And they can also add and remove activities. So the result, when they purchase the itinerary, is a personalized itinerary for themselves. And uh, this all happens automatically. So a wireframe of this, uh, for some people, it's uh, nicer to see this uh, in a view like this. The itinerary that you would be creating in our system would be this day one to day four. The blue ones would be tailorable by the customer in the purchase process. And the red ones are the fixed uh, pointers that you would have added to this itinerary, meaning that you create an itinerary with a fixed theme or a structure. You allow your customer, if you want to, to add day zero, day five, so basically pre and post nights. The smart container for the rental car would allow them to upgrade their car, as an example. Uh, they could choose uh, an experience uh, if you allow them to do that. And then you can see on the bottom that the accommodation smart containers, they are for, for Reykjavik, South Iceland, Reykjavik and Reykjanes, assuming that this would be the core structure of the tour. And this basically means that if you have Travia, as an example, and you have uh, this smart container for Reykjavik, you drag the accommodation for Reykjavik into the smart container, the customer purchases this itinerary, and in the purchase flow, they will first be able to see what accommodation they will get, and they can also change it. And this all happens through this live inventory, uh, and on the contract prices that you have actually negotiated with each property. So uh, this just goes and goes and goes, as long as there's availability. So the end customer experience or the flow would be that you create itineraries in TripCreator and you distribute them on your websites with widgets. The end customers choose their itineraries from your product pages. They customize them according to their needs, if allowed and applicable. They make their payments into your payment gateway. Uh, they receive the booking confirmation vouchers and invoices, and this is generated automatically from the system, and the reservations are pushed automatically into the integrated systems. And finally, to, to try to paint a proper picture of this, this would be the supply chain using Iceland as an example. Of course, this can be done in whatever market. The red icons would be the suppliers around Iceland. Some of them, actually most of them, are found in different systems, such as Travia, Cartroller, Pogon. This becomes a part of your inventory on the contracted prices. You create the itinerary by dragging in the items. Out comes an itinerary which your customer can purchase and customize. And after the purchase flow, we push the reservation data into uh, the systems. It's a lot to take in. Uh, this was it for me now. Uh, I would very much like to welcome you to our stand in the front room if you have any questions. Uh, also, if someone has questions in Icelandic, I would be more than happy to answer those there. Thank you. <laughs>